We're back for another episode of UFTV Sports Talk Show. I'm Martise Kimbrough. We have our special guest, Jason Moore. Jason, how you doing today? Doing good, bro. How you doing? Doing all right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, first thing, man, just kind of tell, tell us about where you're from and uh, your upbringing. Uh, I'm from Oberlin, Ohio, small city, towards uh, the Cleveland area, probably around like Lorraine and Lyria, for y'all that, that know where that's at. But uh, I'm the oldest of uh, six brothers and two sisters. So, you know, um, my dad, you know what I'm saying? He, uh, he kept us all close and stuff like that. So got a lot of responsibilities as far as looking up. You know, they look up to me. So I'm just trying to set the right example for them. You know what I'm saying? Um, got a lot of family members back home watching what's going on, paying attention. So just trying to put the right example up. Yeah, so with you being the oldest, uh, you, you know, they probably look up to you. So how do you think uh, you dealt with that throughout your life? Like maybe with the not necessarily the pressure that comes with it, but just setting a good example for them. It's, it's really another purpose for me, you know? So it's mm-hmm. just like, you know, I, it, it just helps me keep going. Cause I know I got, I got six, seven, eight of them looking after me, looking up to me. So it's just like, I gotta keep going. You know what I'm saying? And whenever, you know, I feel down with anything, I know like I gotta set that example for them, give them the blueprint of life. They see that I could do it. It just opened up the door for them to do what they want to do. So really, it ain't even just about me, it's about all of us, you know what I'm saying? So that just gave me that extra purpose to keep going. Yeah, that's real. Yeah. Uh, where'd you go to high school at? I went to Oberlin High School uh, back in Oberlin, Ohio. Small little high school. I graduated 86 kids, probably about 400 people in my school. You know, everybody was cool, everybody was tight, you know how that goes. Uh, so besides playing football, did you play any other sports in high school? And if yeah. you did, then how was your success in those I, sports as well? I hooped too, and I played, uh, I played baseball a little bit coming up, you know what I'm saying? I stopped playing baseball in high school because I was focusing on AAU and stuff like that. But I, I was pretty successful hooper. I was a, uh, I was an all-state point guard, two guard, brought the rock up a little bit, and um, I ended up finishing off. We ended up finishing off winning districts, lost in the Sweet 16, but I ended up making an all-star game. The local one, I went off about 35 points, seven three-pointers, you know what I'm saying? Like so, a baller too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Football player and a baller. Yeah, yeah, athlete, baby. What time, uh, what time in your life did it get to that point where you had to choose between, okay, I want to play football instead of basketball? It was, it was really high school, you know. <clears throat> I was playing both all throughout, but it came to a point where I wasn't really too highly recruited on the basketball side, and I knew, like, you know, just me being, I, I was 6'3", you know what I'm saying? I'm an athlete who can jump out the gym, but you know, my handles weren't there like yours is. So it was just like, <laughs> you know, I wasn't probably gonna make it as a point guard, but I knew I had that talent to play football and you know, to, to play wide out. So, you know, I just kind of put my mind on that and just, just focus on that and just believe it to get me somewhere, so, mm-hmm. yeah. And uh, for a lot of the people who don't know, who may uh, not be athletes or maybe somebody like you who's trying to be next up in your position, uh, just talk about the grind that you had to go through uh, in high school to get to where you're at now. First off, like, it, it might sound cliche, but you got to believe, you know what I'm saying? You got to believe that you can do it. Like, deep down, you know, if nobody else riding for you, you got to ride for yourself and understand that everything not just going to be up here. You know what I'm saying? There's going to be times where you're coming up and then you fall, but you got to keep climbing. So it's just like, you really got to trust in the process. I know you might hear it all the time, but even for those who hear it, they don't really believe in it. So for those who really trust in the process, things are successful for them. So it's just like, you know, just keep grinding, keep working hard, and just know that it's going to be a roller coaster, but make sure you're always climbing. So, yeah, I think that's the biggest thing is just seeing that vision for yourself. And yeah. when you see it, can't nobody tell you anything differently exactly. because you believe in yourself. Exactly. So that's just going to make it that much easier for mm-hmm. you. Uh, so what made you uh, choose the University of Finley as the place you <coughs> wanted to be? You know, I was coming out. I wasn't too highly recruited. You know, I had um, a couple of D1 schools were looking at me. But uh, other than that, it was really D2. I played quarterback coming out of high school. So, uh, you know, we had we had a small, small team. So anyway, we could get the ball in my hand. That's what we did. So I ended up uh, moving from receiver my junior year um, and switched to quarterback halfway through and just finished off high school football as a quarterback. So as far as like recruited, it, I wasn't too highly, too highly recruited and they thought I was going to play basketball. But it was just like, you know, when I got here, you know, I just, I don't know, I just felt like I'll be straight, you know what I'm saying? But mm. Yeah, so I mean, from that point on, you obviously went on to have a good career. You've yeah. broken a lot of records. Uh, your team just had a very successful year this past year, too. Mm. Uh, so congratulations on that. Appreciate it, bro. Uh, so just kind of talk about, you know, how you've seen yourself transform, not only mentally, but obviously you got physically bigger. Uh, the way that you just view things, view the grind, view life. Just So yeah, it's just like, you know, like, like I said, it, it comes with that process of believing. So I knew coming out of high school, being a quarterback, you know, I, I, I was raw. It was a lot of raw talent, you know, being able to be a good athlete helped me out, but coming out, you know, being a quarterback, I learned a lot here about being a receiver. You know, I learned so much about the game, 
You know, I took steps forward as far as increasing my game, you know what I'm saying? So I knew these are, these are steps I had to take to get to where I want to get. You know, it's no question the time I have and what I'm capable to do. So it's just like each year is about growing, you know what I'm saying? Taking a step forward in your game. You always want to find something that you can improve on. So it's just like the things I had <clears throat> that were flaws in my game four or five years ago are things that I've been working on to, to, to perfect, you know what I'm saying? That's part of the craft is, you know, making sure you eliminate all your flaws so you can be the best you can be. So. I just feel like I knew I put that blueprint up, the things I had to get better at, the things I had to improve on, and just, just focus up for the last, you know, five years that I've been here. It's just like I just grinded and just make sure, like, I knew where I'm at now is where I wanted to be, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's the thing about it. A lot of people see, see you on game days, but they don't get to see the behind-the-scenes stuff that's yeah. going on, like the grind that you put in. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you probably put in a lot of extra hours outside of practice, whether that's yeah. watching film in the weight room, uh, whatever that may be. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so what are your uh, future plans after college? Do you want to continue playing football? Yeah, or? I want to I wanna continue playing football, man. I, I do want to play at the next level. You know what I'm saying? When the opportunity presents itself, I'm trying to make the most of it. But really what I'm trying to do, do it, I'm just trying to use it as a stepping stone to get to that next level of my life. <clears throat> you know, the game don't last forever. So my plans afterwards are to be able to use this game and help my family out the best way I can. And then from that, I kind of want to be an athletic director. You know, I've been thinking about that. I want to go back, not even back home, but just somewhere where I can make a difference as far as like helping kids get to school like I'm here now, you know what I'm saying? A lot of my friends mm -hmm. back home ain't really doing too much or they ain't living out their dreams like they wanted to just because they ain't have that guidance. So for a guy like me to be able to take this journey, be able to learn the things I've learned, I want to be able to go back and pay it forward as far as like helping the kids who, who, are, who are like me but might not be as fortunate, but I want to push them and be able to get them the opportunity to get that key to a better life, you know what I'm saying? Because we all know education is the key, so I just want to help it and influence as many as I can, so. Yeah, it seems like you got some big dreams and a lot yeah. of things you want to do. So yeah. we're all definitely rooting for you. Appreciate that, bro. Uh, is there anybody in the NFL, like for me, for example, as a basketball player, I have players who I look up to as who I try to play like or model my game after. So is there anybody in the NFL that you try to play like? Yeah, always. You know, coming up, I watched a lot of, um, and I watched a lot of Julio. I watched a lot of AJ, um, AJ Green, for those who might not know. But um, you know, I, I know I'm a bigger dude, so. You know, it's cool to watch Tavon Austin, but my game ain't like Tavon Austin, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So I try to model my game after the dudes who, who I kind of look like. So, yeah, I definitely modeled, modeled my game after Julio. And as far as, uh, you know, like guys like Mike Evans, bigger guys who were able to go up top and make plays on guys and still, you know, catch, get that rack, you know, the yards up to catch and stuff. So those are a few guys I modeled my game after. And of course, Dez Bryant, man. Those mm -hmm. are guys who physical, tough, strong, and make a difference. So, kinda, so when you see me play, you know what I'm saying, it kind of remind you of them, is which I, which I, what I've heard and what I know about. So gonna keep doing yeah. that so who is Jason Moore who is Jason Moore listening to before the games who's your the, the games, artist I get you hype dang they get me hype I say Chief man you know we, in high school I listen to Chief you know me and my boys we came up listening to Chief so I'll be bumping a lot of that I'll be bumping future too man but it just it's really just whatever I'm feeling but I definitely mm -hmm. I, I, I say Chief man cuz Chief always gonna get you in that mood so uh, one last thing, if there's one thing that you can tell future recruits about the football side of it and the academic side of it, what would you say that you've learned <clears throat> now five years being in college? I say, man, stay consistent and try, try your best not to fall off because at the end of the day, things add up. You know what I'm saying? If you're messing around here and there your first couple years, it really might add up. You know what I'm saying? As far as like the things that you should have done and took care of, you know I'm saying things can come back to haunt you. So I'll just say, Start on your best foot here as far as academically and football, you know what I'm saying? You want to make an impact right away. Don't don't say, like, I got time, I got time. No, I'll do it right now, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. take care of business right now and just really try to be your best, you know what I'm saying? That's the biggest thing about college is staying consistent with what you do, you know what I'm saying? I, that, it's harder than people think because, you know, not everybody can be consistent, but those who are, it, it really shows in everything that they do, the way they approach everyday life, so mm -hmm. that's what I would say. Yeah, consistency is key, especially if you want to, like you said, try to be a pro after college, so try mm -hmm. to be a pro now and train your mind and train your body to be that way because it's so easy to get caught up in, you know, the, the time management. You know, you have exactly. school, you have classes. It's like I said before, a lot of people don't necessarily see that part of it. They just get to see, mm -hmm. you know, what you do on game day. Exactly. So it seems like you got your head on straight. Yeah, man. You got a lot of big things coming up. Focus, bro. Uh, good luck next season, and we appreciate the time. Oh my God. Appreciate you. Tune in for the next episode of the UFTV Sports Talk Show. We're here with Jason Moore. Enjoy your day. <laughs>